let's start our stunning tutorial about product advertisement motion poster which you can use for social media post reels shorts videos and also you can use for the malls display si uh, street side view display where we use the digital display boards nowadays and which is which is in fame so you can cre uh, create this with really really amazing shape review transition which we have created today and you can see there is totally looking difference and impactful and i have got so many messages <coughs> after posting that on instagram for uh, uh, creative ideas of work and uh, projects so use this in your work create something new and share with me i will display on my stories on instagram if you did something good with this idea let's see how to create this so first of all let's make it stop and just jump into our main composition <laughs> Then I have my uh, another poster I have already similar kind of we have just changed the product and uh, different background shades now what I need I want to start animating first of all the strip and the text we have to reveal that then we are going to jump onto our uh, product revealing option right so first thing first I am going to jump onto the zero number frame and I want to animate this strip first of all so the strip is over here and just selecting the strip right click over here and I am opening the new null object for over here and now what i will do i am just going to uh, select that null object and i'm placing this null object almost something like over here okay so that i have placed over here and for the strip layer i'm going to shift that anchor point sorry select the pen behind tool and shift that anchor point also over here so my null and my uh, anchor point of the strip layer both are in the same place now first thing first i'm going to open my strip scale property from over here and just going to give the key on that one let's jump for the 30 frame ahead first of all and give key again for the same value now let's jump back onto the home or zero number frame and i'm going to change the x size of my strip so i'm just covering the left side of the area now what i will do i'm just going to select both the keys and press f9 and just jump into the graph editor and let's make it something graph like this one so i have just changed the graph something like almost like that now i will change animate the null property so i am open the position property of null separate the dimension and i am going to animate the x property so just give the key again over here and jump onto the 30th frame give the key same over here which is animating the position of the uh, sorry first thing first i have to parent this strip layer to the null layer so we have parented that now let's change the position take it out of the composition on the left side so i have done this part and now let's select this animated keys press f9 convert in easy ease and now let's change the graph into the speed graph and i'm going to make something like this so the position will be changed fastly and the scale will be changed in a little bit slower way so let's minimize this so you can understand how it uh, separated the layer so i'm going to visible this layer like this layer is my bg so let's change the name for this one okay and now these two layers so i'm going to reveal this to soloing this layer so you can understand how it is going to be happen so this is the procedure which is going to be happen something like this and now let's play it again so yes that part has been done now i want to reveal my text this is the main text over here so i'm just going to revealing this this is my main text i want to reveal when the strip taking its position this text should be start revealing so what i will do i'm just going to open this and apply the animator over here the position animator and now i'm going to change the y value because i have already rotated that so that's y become x and x become y so that i have changed now let's jump into the range selector and here what i will do i'm just going to make the end value zero first of all and the start value i'm going to apply the key and make the value 50 over here now let's jump the 30 frames ahead and make the value here zero so that part has been done now i'm going to apply the duplicate layer of this one uh, sorry uh, duplicate animator and let's jump into the again a range selector here i'm going to change the end value 100 over here and here the start value onto the second key i'm going to make a 100 also so that part has been done now let's select press u why i have done i want to reveal the text from the center to upward and uh, center to downward so that's why i have used the two animators now let's select this one and press f9 and i'm going to change the graph something like this and i'm going to make it something like this 
Okay, one more thing guys, this text animation which I have created, using this creative text animation, I have generated some amazing logo reveal animation. And for that, you can see into the screen now, uh, the animation is running on. You can just go and watch this tutorial, which is really, really in print. And I uh, got, at least after uh, uh, posting on the Instagram, I got five to six orders for that from some of the YouTubers and some of the uh, creators. Uh, I got the, uh, uh, like, uh, podcast creators. So you will get really, really good thing. So just go and watch that one also. Now let's back to the uh, work. So that part has been done, but what I need... When it's coming, uh, before getting its position, I want to start revealing the text. So for that, we are just coming out from the graph editor and let's offset the keys of our text animator. So it should be a little bit inside something like this one, right? And now you can see that, yes, it's looking really nice. See that. So that should be running. It should not be look like a uh, slideshow. It should be look like a motion graphics, right? So everything should be starting running. Yeah, I think it's a little bit, I can... Un also okay that part is done now what i need after that i want to reveal my second text also which is the top on this corner so now let's start this open the position property sorry let's open the animation property of this one animator and i am going to apply the, again a position property this time we are going to animate in a different way what i need this should become first and this should become last this alphabet should become first and this alphabet should become last so according to that, it should be happened, right? So first thing first, I'm just going to take it out from the composition almost like over here. So it's done. Now what I need, I'm just going to open the range selector, jump into the advanced option and here into the shape option, I'm going to apply the ramp down. Now let's jump into the range selectors, offset property, make the offset value hundreds, it start, give the key onto the property and jump for the 30 frames ahead. And now I'm going to make it a minus 100 onto the second keyframe. Now let's select this, press F9, and I'm just going to make change something like this into the speed graph, the graph editor we have changed. Now what I need, the when the strip is coming start inside, almost like this, I want that, that text is, it should be feel like that, that strip is bringing the text inside, right? So now you can see that, yes, it's looking really nice. Let's animate this, yes. I want to change a little bit something over here, so let's select this, start and make it a little bit back okay because it look like it's impacting the strip so now it's look better it should not be look like that it's impacting the strip so you can change according to that if i think the steel is looking something let's take it a little bit back yes now it's look fine better so timing is most important guys that you have to remember now this part has been done now what we need we have to reveal these two text also so for that, what I will do, I'm just going to selecting this text, let's bring down and I'm going to create a mat. Reason is that guys, I have not converted into the uh, shape layer. I didn't create the separate text layer for that. So I have to use the mat, otherwise I can use the mask also. So now what I will do, I'm just going to select, deselect every layer from that and select the rectangle shape tool and create a mat around this, both of them. Reason, I will use one mat for both the layer. So that part has been done and I'm just going to give the name extra text mat whatever you like you can give the name guys and I'm just going to make it a hide from over here. Now let's select both the layer open the rasterize option from over here. It is needful when you use such kind of layer it should not be give you the proper result when you use the segment kind of effect. So now I'm going to select this layer jump into the effect I'm going to apply the segment effect I'm going to select that extra mat layer effect and mask I'm going to apply and let's select this same one and apply on the another text also the press V. So that part has been done. Now what we have to do select both the layer open the position property and separate the dimensions from over here. Now give the key onto the both the X <coughs> both the layers X position property. Now let's jump for the 30 frames ahead and I think I'm just going to jump for the 20 frames and give the key now let's come back over the first keyframe, select both the layers and change the position something from over here. So you can see that both are hiding from that. So I'm just not taking 100% out, I'm placing it over here. Now select both of them, press F9 and I think I should be, no, we have to go something like that. Okay. Let's select this something like that and something almost like this. Okay, so now what I need when it's come inside, what exactly this unleash portion Unleashed text should be late, little, come little bit later. So I'm just going to make it a little bit behind 
or something like this. Okay, that's good enough. So now if you can see that it's happening something like that. So yes, it's looking really nice and enough. And now if you found that that is coming a little bit faster, you can delay, delay the text. Last key something, you make offset of them, both of the keys selected. And I'm just going to make it offset something like this. So now you can see that yes, it's looking really, really beautiful and amazing. So that is the main thing. So the main part of the text is revealed. Now we want to work for our shoe layer, right? Uh, there are other texts, but it should be like, uh, we can jump over here. There is a bottom text over here. But what I want to do, the shoe is like it just painted the stroke and creating the text. You can see the motion, something happening like that. So that kind of some motion we have to create. So you can see that we have using the different style, which makes my motion poster really, really impactful and amazing and give a brand impact on viewers or consumers mind. You can see that, right? And another text, something like over here. So for that text, what you can do, uh, let's open that text. So blink text over here. So here it is my blink text. And for that, what you can do, simple thing. Uh, that is, I have just made the color change over there. So uh, what I have done, uh, just select this, apply the effect, jump into the generate, or we can do something different also. If you like, uh, uh, let's use something different this time. I'm just going to use the generate and applying the, where is going my, sorry, not generate, jump into the color correction and I'm going to apply the UN saturation, right? So now what I will do, I'm just come from over here. If this text should be revealed something at the end from over here. So, okay, I'm just going to start it from over here and I will apply the key on this one and let's come out from over here and let's make the value of one. So now let's see that what is going to be happen over here. Let's play this if it is changing or not. So now you can see that it has changing the colors inside that one, right? So you can make, now you, you need the blink value. So it should be go a little bit faster, right? So what I will do, I'm just going to select this layer, place you again, jump onto the last keyframe and I'm going to change the value about like a six, right? So that has been done. And now let's play it again. So you will understand what is going to be happen. It's part, right? You can see that it's blinking now, right? So it's give you a good effect. So that I love, but when you have to reveal it, when you have to reveal it, when the strip is almost coming something like on this portion. So I'm just going to trim this layer from over here. So you don't have to use the different matte layer for that, right? It's no doubt you can use it, but why give the load to your <coughs> software, your work, your progress, right? So try to avoid that kind of extra activities if you have an option. So that will be the part which blinking part is also done. So you can see the various kind of text animation we are used uh, using the text animators, using the position properties, using the UN color saturation, trimming the layers. So these are the different kind of animation in just one poster so, and use these different ideas in your different project and try to impact what for your consumer clients. So they can give you good money, guys. They can offer you good money rather than making the stupid things which your social media, each and everyone copying different person. Definitely, they can give you the follow but can't earn the money. That's why they are making content, but they are not earning the money. They are getting the followers, but they are not getting the clients. And with me, this is a different thing. I'm getting the client. I don't require that much of followers. I need followers who want to learn something from me, who want to apply something creative, who want to learn something different rather than copying some other's work. So I love such kind of followers. Now let's start it or subscribers on YouTube, right? So the thing is that that part has been now let's jump onto our shoe part. So I have to reveal my shoe first of all. So here is my shoe. So that is coming. Now what exactly I need, I want to animate my shoe, which should become a uh, motion with this in the start. It should be uh, outside of the comp and then it should be revealed or not visible into the comp. <coughs> So there is a different ideas and there is a different thing guys that you have to understand. So what I will do, I will just make the thing something like that. I'm going to parent this with the null object first of all. So I have just parented with the null object. So now what is going to happen is coming out from the screen. Now when the strip coming inside, you can see that it's also coming into the screen. It is also coming into the screen. So that part has been done. That is good one. And now what I will need, okay, uh, when it started from over here, when my text come before the shoe should start appear. The first thing first, I'm going to open the position property of my shoes. Let's separate the dimension from over here. 
let's select the and I'm just going to take it out from something over here also i am going to use the rotation property of this one and give the key for that one and i am going to change the rotation something like this almost like like the straight shoes is over there and let's take it okay that part has been done and i can change the position something okay that should be the better option or yeah that should be the better option right now let's jump ahead 20 30 40 frames and i am going to give the key again over here and uh, let's come 30 frames and change the position value on the 30th and should be onto the 30th frame now what i need i want to bring it into the screen so where i had up uh, uh, see the thing uh, first of all uh, that i have done the mistake before changing i can apply but not an issue let's commit over here and apply the value of zero of the rotation so now you can see that it's looking over there and where is my bottom text so here it is my bottom text you can see that so yes, uh, I can change the position a little bit more of my shoes, but at present it's good one. I'm uh, steady and beautiful with this one. So that part has been done. Now what I will do, I'm just going to select this, press F9, let's jump into the graph editor and I'm going to select the graph something like this and let's make something like over here. Uh, let's select this and let's change something like over here. So at that part is done. Now, when shoes should be revealed? Okay, that is the main and major sequence. So first thing first, when I'm coming over here, what I can do first thing, I can make the mat something like over here. Okay, so that part has been trimmed. Second thing, it should be revealed in that area from this area basically. But the thing is that the shoes is also out of the box over here, right? Here, it's out of the box. I can't use it only this part as a mat. So what we can do for that, we are going to use a smart technique. So let's open our strip layer over here. Make a duplicate copy of this. And I'm just going to name as a shoe mat. Okay, so it is my shoe mat. And let me open the scale property of this one. Let's open the scale property. When we are going to make a scale is little bit lower. So I'm just going to make a delete this portion. Right, so this scale is almost like this one. And now let's hide this mat from over here. Now select our shoe layer jump into the effect and i'm going to jump into the channel option and let apply the set mat let's select the shoe mat from over here apply effect and mask for that that part has been done and let's make it also a rasterize something like that so now what is going to be happen let's see that how our animation is going yes so it's looking really beautiful you can see that my text okay this is the main thing my uh, shoe is coming a little bit late right so what i will do my tag should become later my shoe will become first so i'm just going to make it a little bit change so now it's looking beautiful that my shoe is dragging the tags right so that is exactly i needed so you can see that my shoe portion is almost getting revealed and it's looking really beautiful now my bottom text is coming into the scene so here it is my bottom where is my bottom text here it is my bottom how can we do that so you can see that if you are a smarter person already using the after effects this is a simple technique but it would work very very smartly so let's do that select this text layer open the uh, sorry select this text layer select the rec shape rectangle tool, and i'm just going to select the mask on this one all right so i have selected the mask on this one now what we need then we have to just start it from over here so it started from over here right so what i will do i am just going to animate the mask path so i have given the key to the mask path let's jump page down page down page down page down okay that part has been let's come page up almost like this and give the mask path also now come on that part and select these two mask points and bring something like over here now let's select this press f9 jump into the graph editor and let's select something like this and let's select something like this okay that part has been done and now what i will do i'm going to apply the feather only into the x-axis so just make it it right now now you can see that your part has been done your motion poster has been ready guys how you like that please comment into the uh, uh, comment below also give a like if you have not subscribed the channel till now subscribe the channel and also share with the creative artists you know so thank you very much guys see you next time